So your first launch in 2018 ended in a launch abort? Yeah. It was during the middle of first stage separation. One of the external boosters didn't separate properly and slammed back into the rocket. And so in that, the launch escape system felt that motion and pulled us away. Mm -hmm. Internal to the cockpit, light starts flashing. There's an alarm going off. There's another red light that says you've had a rocket emergency. There's a violent side to side shake. And then we're kind of peacefully tumbling because we've already been pulled away from the rocket. All of that happened in a quarter second. Why is space critical to life on Earth? And not just from science and you know experimentation on the ISS and human space flight, but why is the Space Force really important and Guardians and the satellites that we have up there? When you track back all the way to the beginning of the Space Force, you know, a little over five years ago, uh, the, the transition of the, of the domain of space being this place where we can launch a satellite and, and then not worry about that satellite and then use that satellite for the next 30 years, mm -hmm. uh, those days have, have, have those get, <laughs> they've come and gone. Uh, now there's far too much stuff up there and it is a contested domain where you know it's limited real estate and and we're making sure that that everyone has the freedom to operate up there uh, and not just a select few um, so that importance because all of those things that we do in space underpin how we live on the ground and we've built our society based on those capabilities uh, so we need to make sure that they stay there and the the space force protects that every day. What do you think the future of space operations looks like? Yeah, I mean, the, the future uh, of space operations is complex and hard and demanding and and to be honest with you it's a thrill to be part of the Space Force and be in the middle of trying to figure all that out with the rest of the Guardians.